Good evening! Good morning! Hello! Dito sa amin, obviously, good morning. Wala ka kasi maraming. I am Maricar Ortino and this is my better half. <laughs> Nandito kami sa garden ni Manny. Actually, this was designed so nice. We designed para prayer area. This is our prayer garden. Ako gusto ko lang dito ko sa garden. Mas malapit sa langit. Uh, Ako mas malapit sa lupa. <laughs> Welcome to our prayer garden. And kulang kami ng isa kasi our daughter is in school. Yeah. And so, you know, this prayer garden, I remember one of the priests that they were during his home with see Father June, our parish priest. Sabi niya, every day, meet Jesus in your Galilee. Sa Galilee pala, siya nagpakita uli, ganyan. So, it's a place of meeting Jesus. So, this is our Galilee. Whenever, whenever Maricar and I are here, uh, we feel the presence of the Lord and then we feel happy, joyful. Ang sayo pag sa ating Lord. At saka, itong online gathering natin, para din siyang Galilee, diba? This is where we meet the Lord in worship, where we meet the Lord through His Word. Kaya, ang saya din natin pag magkasama sa community niya, sa mga gatherings natin. Favorite song ko yan. Kasi totoong joy from the Lord. So let's joyfully start worshiping the Lord together. Take a self and rest with the Lord. Have a song from the Holy Spirit.
thank you, Father, for the joy of knowing you, the joy of um, being with you, the joy of meeting you daily in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for your providence, for your goodness that we experience daily. It's really wonderful and joyful to belong to you. We praise you, Lord, and lift your name up on high. You are the name above our names, the source of all life, the source of all love, put together, the source of all our joy. We are gathered here joyfully uh, with our brothers and sisters online. And wherever we are, when we are gathered in your name, it brings so much joy to all of us. So we lift this gathering to you, Lord. We ask you to be present with us and bring your life, your love, and your joy to us as we listen to your words and reflect on how it affects and we lead our lives. We ask you this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It's really beautiful to uh, come before the presence of the Lord Amen. Amen. and um, meet Him. But another way of meeting Him also is through the Word of God. Oh, I always look forward to the teachings because it's a time where I can really hear Him. So aside from meeting him, paminsan madaldala ko masyado eh. Ito yung time naman na si God naman yung magsasalita sa akin. Bakit ito tumatawa? Uh, kasi ano eh, naalala ko yung teacher of the word natin for tonight. And so he's a man that brings the love of the Lord and the life of the Lord. And like I said no earlier, the joy of the Lord to all of us is the founder of our community and a source of inspiration to all of us. I remember uh, he and my dad, when they used to come together, uh, have meals or make cuento. Tawa kami ng tawa. And, you know, I don't know if we were more full in our tummies from the air from laughing or from the food from eating. <laughs> so without much ado, I'd like to introduce our teacher of the word of the night, the presiding elder of our beautiful community here. Please welcome Brother Willie Nakar. Good evening to all of you, brothers and sisters. Today, I would like to talk to you about claiming scripture. We know that the Bible contains many promises of the Lord and these promises are for us to accept to hold on to and to believe that God is true to his word let us begin with Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 which says indeed the word of God is living and effective sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Many of us know this by heart. We believe that God's Word is alive. It is effective. And when God says something, we know that He will make it come to pass. The Apostle John wrote in his Gospel, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. And the Word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. We also know that the will of God is revealed in his thoughts, in his ways, and in his word. We read this in Isaiah 55, verses 8 to 11. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, 
So are my ways higher than your ways, my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Yet just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but shall do what pleases me, achieving the end for which I sent it. In declaiming the promises of the Lord in Scripture, here are some points to remember. Number one, the Lord's invitation is all you who are thirsty come to the water. Isaiah 55 verse 1 Sabi ni Lord, Lahat ng nangauuhaw magsiparito kayo sa tubig. Inaanyayaan niya ang lahat ng lais lumapit sa kanya. Ang mga sabik sa pagkalingan ng Diyos ay makararanas na kanyang pagmamahal. Number two, the promise of the Lord is To the thirsty, I will give a gift from the spring of life-giving water. The victor will inherit these gifts, and I shall be his God, and he will be my son. Revelation 21, verses 6 to 7. Again, Scripture talks about those who are thirsty for God, those who desire to know him, and to live according to His ways. Ang mga uhaw sa salita ng Diyos ang siyang magkakamit ng kabuuan ng kanyang mga pangako. Number three, the life-giving water is the Word of God, while the Holy Spirit is the source thereof. St. Paul tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 5, for our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. Number four, we must develop the holy habit of meditating on Scripture to eat the Word. Matthew 4 verse 4 says, Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Ang salita ng Diyos ay nagbibigay buhay, kaya't marapat na basahin natin ang Biblia araw-araw at pagnilayan ang mga sinasayad dito. Number five, when we are in trouble or in great need, we can invoke God's promises in the Psalms. Lord, grant salvation. Lord, grant good fortune. Psalm 118, verse 25. I long for your salvation, Lord. Your teaching is my delight. Psalm 119, verse 174. Number six. Worrying is against God's will for us. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus tells us, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. Sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into barn. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are not you more important than they? Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. 
Sufficient for a day is its own evil. Matthew 6, verses 25 to 27, verses 32 to 34. In Isaiah 30, verses 21 to 23, the Lord tells us, Do not give in to sadness or torment yourself deliberately. Gladness of heart is the very life of a person, and cheerfulness prolongs his days. Distract yourself and renew your courage. In times of anxiety, pray for deliverance and peace. Philippians 4 verses 5 to 7 assures us that the Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Number seven, Jesus has overcome the world. One of the greatest encouragements we have is what Jesus promised in John 16, verse 33. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. I would like to end with a beautiful prayer found in Psalm 119, verses 169 to 170. Let the words of this prayer guide you as you claim scripture in your everyday life. Let my cry come before you, Lord, in keeping with your word. Give me understanding. Let my prayer come before you. Rescue me according to your promise. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you again, Brother Willie, for such an inspiring talk. Amen. Always to my inspiring talk. Close kasi sila ni God. Sana ala tayo, no? Sana all. Elim Community Tradition is to spread the good news to the entire world. If you want to be part of this work of evangelization, please give your time, love offerings, and donations to any of the public. We pray for all those who gave their tithes and love offerings. May the Lord bless you a hundredfold for your generosity. In Jesus' name, Amen. amen. Pray to Our Lady of Elam, O oh dear Mary, Lady of Elam, sweet and pure, pray that your Son Jesus will, to innocence and holiness restore, the hearts and minds of long lost souls. Pray that the seed of glad tidings, sown in our hearts, will stir us to great hope, faith and love. Pray for the vision and intentions of community and of the Church, that with the Lord's watchful care and generous provisions, they shall all be. Pray that a polluted world and all institutions will, from a powerful outpouring of the latter rain, experience the blessings of fresh living water, a renewal of the spirit and healing of our land and of all nations. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Daily Missions Prayer Lord, I make myself available for the Ministry of Missionary Evangelization. On my knees, on the mission field, within our borders, or on foreign soil, for a single soul, or for the multitudes. Empower me for abundant soul winning. By your Spirit, make me an instrument of your love and mercy, a witness bold and an ashamed, and an inspiring bearer of the good news. Send us the laborers, technology, and resources to reach the world. Help us break barriers, overcome obstacles, and penetrate new territories. That all the peoples of the earth may know that you are God and there is no other. And to all those we reach, Lord, raise them up to become your true disciples. Here I am, Lord. Send me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Heavenly Father, thank God that we have access to you and that we can turn to you in any and every situation for we know you are listening to us we know that you will hear us and that you will answer our prayer make it possible O lord that all our intentions and petitions will reach the gates of heaven and enter to name our petitions and seek your favor as we ask in the name of Jesus, as we believe his provision and healing as we receive his wonderful, blessed touch of eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so we come, come to, to the, the end. end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mat masarap man at uh, matamis. At masaya. At masaya. Saya sa Jesus. Kailangan natin tapusin ang gabi. But we hope to see you again and may the Lord continue to bless Elim community worldwide. And looking forward to seeing you again. God, God bless. bless you. Bye. Bye.
Said the love.